Hello beautiful friends and welcome. So in today's video, I just want to talk about all pretty things. I am very inspired right now by Studio McGee and Hearth and Hand by Magnolia. I just love both of the couples. I watch them throughout, you know, their journey on HGTV, I think, and also YouTube but I'm really inspired by all the textures that they bring into the home and how beautiful they make their table setting, their kitchen. I mean, they're in the thick of things with their children and I feel like I relate a lot to that. So I wanted to go to the thrift store and see if I can find just a few things to create a beautiful moment in my kitchen. I always wanted to have like this beautiful table setting but it's just not practical for me in this part of my life and the season that I'm in you know I have three girls and we're just using that space all the time if it's not practical I can't have it in my home it has to be beautiful and practical at the same time so let's go to the store and then I'll come back and show you what I got Come thrifting with me. I'm really excited to show you all of the things that I found at the thrift store and kind of get a feel of what you can find at secondhand stores. Then I'm going to show you a really big thrift haul as well as how I style all my pieces. Come along with me and I hope you enjoy the process as much as I do. Thrifting is a little bit of a hunt. You might find something you like and not pick it up and then you have to come back for it. As I did, I didn't pick up these beautiful pillowcases last time I was here so I was so glad that they are still here. My first stop is usually the furniture section. This beautiful vase is from Hobby Lobby, is $35 but as you can see it's much less here at the thrift store here we have beautiful baskets sometimes things are just randomly in random places they're not placed where they're supposed to be so that's why it's important to take the time and kind of look through every aisle just because you might find something you really love also check the rollout bins that they bring out because you can find something before they can even put it on the shelf, which is amazing. I've been looking for a storage situation for my daughter's bigger dolls and their little beds, and I feel like this would have been perfect. I just feel like it was priced a bit much, but honestly, I'm having such a hard time. I wish I would have picked it up. I did grab this beautiful basket. It was well made and I thought it would be perfect to use for my daughter's Easter basket. And then I would use it to store her Legos situation because that's a little bit out of control. As a mom to three very crafty girls that love hands-on activities and love fashion i'm always looking in the basket section to see what i can find to use as storage or even to store my plants in like this beautiful basket would be a beautiful addition to put into a plastic nursery pot this is why i kind of like to show you everything that i see at the thrift store because there's so many beautiful different things like look at the variety of different baskets, different size, different color, different texture. I mean the possibilities are really endless and then they have beautiful florals that you can add to your spring collection. I personally have a hard time finding blooms that I like because I have over 50 real live plants so for me to bring in something that isn't real it's kind of a struggle but I'm working on it. I do want to find some blooms that look realistic because it's a little expensive to bring in real flowers from the grocery store every week or every 10 days. I turned on Studio McGee on YouTube recently and I just went down a rabbit hole and binge watched all of her latest videos and I was really inspired of how beautiful her home is. She has three young daughters just like I do. Mine are a little bit older than hers 
and she styles her home so beautiful. Yes, she has a huge home and I have a small apartment. So what better way to kind of recreate that same feeling or some aesthetic that she has in her home in my smaller apartment on much smaller scale. So for me, what that means is instead of using my dining table to create this beautiful vignette, I thought what better way to just do it on my countertop right where my dining room ends and my kitchen begins. I thought to just put a beautiful tray with a pitcher there making fresh lemonade as well as some snacks that I make for the kids for that after school snack, some beautiful cups, glasses, and then maybe even some small plates that they can just grab and go sit down and do their homework or watch TV. I was having a difficult time finding something in the basket section. I'm glad I kept looking because there was definitely more options in the other sections. Now this tray was so beautiful. It was in a basket and then it had like a casserole dish inside. Absolutely stunning. I looked it up. It was vintage and pretty pricey online. I'm still very much so obsessed with my midwinter dining set, but I want something a little bit light and airy for this little situation that I'm doing. And I was looking at all the plates and really couldn't find anything that I really liked. I keep thinking of the other clear plates that I saw that were floral and just so gorgeous. So maybe I will stop by and see if they might be on sale. But for now, I grabbed these right here. I thought they were the perfect size and just great for a light and airy type of feel that spring really represents to me. Haley and Bryce are this beautiful couple that I watch here on YouTube and I saw them thrift these type of glasses they were so beautiful and i was so jealous i really wanted to find something like that now this is not exactly like it but i do love these i took them out of the box and just kind of got a feel for them i really like them they're really fresh and just beautiful i can use them plain like this and they would look beautiful styled with a woven wrap out on my countertop now this little glass i thought was so beautiful i love the little fresh color on top it would be perfect to put some little candy or some pretzels some nuts in there i thought it was beautiful this bed bath and beyond tissue cover was so beautiful and simple it was 30 dollars at the regular store and only a couple bucks here at the thrift store and it's the perfect little addition to a home to just elevate the aesthetic of it the feel because it is the season for allergies so i'm always looking for something that will just elevate the look and not have so much plastic and cheap looking things in the home so that is one way to really change your look this Martha Stewart tray was beautiful, very simple, and only a couple dollars. I'm done here at the thrift store. Let's head home for the haul. So we are back home now, and I just want to show you everything that I got. So my plan, instead of doing like this fancy, elaborate table setting, I just want to create like a small little moment in the kitchen where I could just place like a pitcher with fresh lemonade, um, maybe fill, you know, a jar with like chocolate, something of that sort, have just a few things that are going to be beautiful and functional. And the first thing that I got is this massive tray. I love the color. It's not, you know, too orange. It's just the perfect brown color. I love all of these detail on it. I love this detail as well. It is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is our table line. It was $4.99. I mean, way better than what you would get it for regular price. And 
The next thing is just the sweetest. I know we don't get to enjoy it for that long, but I will have this for years to come. I thought they were so beautiful. They are by Threshold, so that is Target brand. And they are just so beautiful. I mean, can you just imagine like the tray and I'll have, you know, the little bunny on there. I'll have a pitcher of fresh lemonade. My, my parents have a lemon tree and it's just so much, so much harvest. And then the next thing is these beautiful plates that I got. I am going to also place them on here just so it's like quick and easy access. But I thought these were so perfect because they're not like the large dinner size, but then they're not like that super, super tiny. It's just like the perfect, perfect size. And then the other thing I thought I can put on that tray is this beautiful little... I don't know what this is, a little glass. It was, okay, it says 99, so Goodwill has been doing this thing where it says 99 cents right here with a marker, but then we will come up and she'll be like, oh, that's too cheap, it's $1.99. And I'm like, okay, are you guys pricing it wrong? And she's like, no, I think maybe somebody wiped it off or, you know, is just, it can't be 99 cents. So I really liked it and I just paid $1.99, but I almost wanted to be like, okay, I won't get it then because that's not fair to me, right? Like I didn't wipe off the, you know, the price. Maybe they need to put like a sticker so it doesn't get wiped off. I don't know, but that's happened to me multiple times and more lately than than ever and it's kind of annoying me <laughs> to tell you the truth but imagine like little little chocolate eggs in here or something and just here like this would be so pretty so the next thing i got is this massive basket i love the weave on this the handles are just so beautiful and then it also has all of this like fluff in here. So I'm definitely gonna use this for my youngest daughter's Easter basket, but then I'm gonna use it for under my TV stand. I think I'm gonna just organize all her Legos and just put it in here because it's getting a little bit out of control. But remember that baskets are an amazing way to be able to organize your space with you know, just doing it in a tasteful way. I also got this even bigger basket. It is so pretty. I love the handles, just the detail. I like that it's just so massive. It was only $4.99, but I might, if you saw in my previous video, right in this corner right here my daughter scrapbooks i know that there's a lot of stuff so it might not all fit in here but i'm trying to do something pretty in this corner because she scrapbooks almost daily so i think it's a great way to encourage her to scrapbook while you know we're watching tv or we're just hanging out because I feel like if I move it into like my room or her room where we kind of store more things, she might not, you know, do it as often. So we'll see. I'm just trying to, you know, think of ways to have the kids still be creative and do the things that they love without having it to be like so annoying to, to you know, haul everything out. But that was that. And then... The next thing I got is this beautiful mug. It's just clear. You'll be able to see the different colored tea that I'm drinking or my coffee. It was $1.49 and I think this sticker is from like the 99 cent store. Uh, but I thought that was really, really just the perfect mug because I like to drink like a bowl of coffee. And then this salted grapefruit candle, oh my goodness, smells so good. I mean, 
I love everything citrus, so this one was like a no-brainer for me. I think I'm going to, it, it's brand new, but I'm going to melt it down and use it for one of the other vessels that I bought to make a candle. And then the last thing that I got isn't part of home decor, but when I saw it, I just had to grab it. I thought it was so beautiful. I love the shade of this brown. I like it when the handles are long enough. That way you could just put it on your shoulder without it being like all the way up in your armpit. But that is all for today's haul. And now I'm going to show you how I style some of these pieces because we all want to see that, right? As my little dining room ends and my kitchen begins, this is where I thought it would be the perfect spot to create this little vignette or just this little moment where it looks special, it looks put together, it has a purpose, and most importantly, it has to be functional for our family. My daughters enjoy drinking hot tea daily, so I have created a beautiful little corner that is functional and practical with different types of local honey and a Lazy Susan that holds some tea, honey, and yeah, that's it. Tea and honey. <laughs> a while ago, I found this box that is intended for succulents, but I put all of our different teas in there and it worked out perfectly. By no means is this necessary, but I love to just romanticize my life and create little cute and functional corners or nooks for myself and my children to enjoy and i just love it it truly brings me joy and here i am just trying out the different bunny or rabbit that would look better in the space and here i have my propagation station that i propagated my plants and something fresh in this tray is just what it needed and I love how it turned out. Now, a while ago, I thrifted this tissue cover, and it's not that deep, so I had to take the tissues out of the box, and I love how it turned out. It's simple. There's no colorful, bright cardboard box that's there, and I really need it for this season because me and my oldest and youngest daughter suffer from allergies. I don't know how my middle one just got so blessed. She definitely took after my husband because he doesn't suffer from allergies. But look how elevated this looks. I love it. I think it's simple. It's practical these little bunnies are going to be perfect for years to come even though i don't really decorate for easter like that we keep it simple and more so around jesus and the story of resurrection if you know what bunnies represent around easter let me know in the comments I know it could be a hot topic and I've done my research and looked, but I kind of want to know from my fellow Christians, how do you feel about decorating with bunnies for Easter or is that more towards like spring? Okay, on a lighter note, what is your favorite season? Because for me, it is definitely autumn. I love fall. I love everything about it. The deep, darker, changing color leaves. I love the crisp air without suffering from allergies like I do in the springtime. And it's just something so beautiful about the seasons changing and seeing all of the old kind of fall and nature getting rid of the old to create new space for the new, um, which is the upcoming spring. But here I have styled the beautiful yellow pillowcases. They feel so luxurious, fresh, expensive. The feel is just beautiful. I wasn't sure if I should just have the small 
white pillow or to also add the yellow one in the middle and I did go for that because we just love to be casual and comfortable and have lots of pillows around us to just enjoy a comfy time sitting reading a book or watching tv playing games now I love candles. Everything about candles just warms up the space. I recently took the girls to our local library and we grabbed a bunch of books. I think I checked out close to 13 or 15 books and I put them all around my home, in the kitchen, in the dining area, on my coffee table, so I can just enjoy beautiful books, things about spring, about campers living the van life. That would be my secret life for sure, maybe before having kids, but I'm just romanticizing my life in this particular moment. I love to be able to just have a little bit of a fantasy, you know, but I love how my couch turned out it's fresh it's more of like we keep it more of like a day bed instead of just a couch and anytime I try to put it back the way it's supposed to be my kids just are not having it because they love to be able to lay down and get cozy and just relax and when their friends stay the night it's just perfect now this is the next day and I bought this beautiful simple mug for tea or coffee and there's just something so fresh about having a glass where you could see through it and be able to enjoy the color of your coffee or the bright colors of your tea. Next we have these baskets. Here I am putting together my daughter's Easter baskets. I'm literally filming the morning of Easter. I don't know why I waited or I make piles of Ella, Evelina, Eliana's pile that's all the stuff that they get that are the same and then I have piles of like little personal stuff my little one came to me and said mom I want cookbooks in my Easter basket and I want to be able to pick them out so we went to the thrift store she picked out all the cookbooks that she wanted and I added it to her Easter basket even though I like the element of surprise if that is what she wanted, I kind of had to, you know, just go with it because I know that this is going to make her happy. I love how the Easter baskets turned out. I know they're not your traditional baskets, but I like the fact that I can reuse them and repurpose them for different things in my home like holding the girls' toys or using them to home a plant. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I hope that you enjoyed this thrift trip and how I styled my things. This will be the end of this video. I hope that you are inspired to go thrifting and find things that you will love that will enhance your home and not really clutter it. You know what I mean? I'm cautious of what I bring in my home and I have to learn this the hard way because I definitely went overboard with all the baskets that I bought so I had to you know tone that down a bit I hope you were inspired and I'm going to try to make more videos like this on thrifting and then how I use my stuff because it always inspires me to watch other people do the same so thank you for watching and sticking around if you watch till the end comment below what is your favorite thing to thrift? For me, it's definitely cute and unique baskets. How about you? Thank you for watching. Be blessed. And remember, live life beautifully today. Before I let you go, I wanted to share just a few clips of how our Easter went. After church, we headed straight to my mom's house. We had a big feast. This is the adult table. We each brought two dishes, and then here we have the kids' table. We ate, and we were satisfied. It was just a beautiful time to hang out and spend with our family and loved ones. Then we needed to get outside. We have so many kids and they just needed to get their energy out. So we went to the skate park and then right next to it is a play structure. 
This is my daughter Ella. She's 16. She loves to skateboard. She actually has a YouTube channel. It's called Ella the Poser's Life. She is trying to get monetized right now so if you would like to check her out that would definitely be helpful and she is just a young girl having a good time and working hard